I've got a question for you. Can friction ever do positive work? Huh, what's mm. friction? What is friction? Oh, good, good, good little, uh, <laughs> little guess there. What is friction? Uh, friction the, is a force that resists motion. Whatever direction it's going, for, friction resists it. Okay, so what uh, work done by a constant force is represented by this. Yeah. Um, where uh, theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. What would be the angle between the direction of the displacement and the direction of the force of friction? Well, if motion is going this way, which way is the force going? Of the force of friction going? The other way. How it many degrees? It resists motion. 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. It resists motion 180 degrees. And what was the cosine of 180 degrees? Mm, negative one. Negative one. So, can now, we answer our question? Yeah. Can friction ever do positive work? And the answer is? Nope. Nope. Because we're gonna get negative one for the cosine of 180 and that will, the, that will make this whole thing negative. It is the nature of the force of friction to do negative work, never positive. Okay, what happens to the work that is done by friction? Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Put your hands together! And it's hot. Right? <laughs> and so uh, what happens is uh, we do work rubbing our hands together and the friction, um, the, the work that we're done is uh, transfer is transferred, transformed into transformed. converted, converted. <laughs> into, into heat. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and we've got our work changes energy theorem here. Uh, if you put in, I'm sorry, if you have work, work will change energy. Putting in work, change the energy of the system. Is that applicable? It is. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so <clears throat> now we are going to do our a free response question from 2015, uh, courtesy of Mr. Boykin. He loves this question. Yeah. Um, number three, and I'll give you a little sneak peek of what it looks like. I'll put it up on, uh, this is just the, Oh, I don't have the non-answer key, just kidding. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right here. Okay, this is the front. There's a three, three A, and then part one and part two, and then it's on the back of this one. Yeah. And then there's a three B right yep. here. That's the actual cut and paste. Three B has two parts to it, and then C and a D. Yep. Now, do you have any words of uh, encouragement for them, Boykin? Um, what I would say is this is a reading comprehension challenge and all of this stuff, if you read and understand exactly what they're talking about and what kind of a graph you've got here, what's on the vertical and what's on the horizontal, uh, see what you can do with it. And if it doesn't pop off, if, if, if the answer doesn't pop out to you right away, that is okay. That's it, normal. It, it's not. It's not meant to be obvious. Um, if you don't understand it the first time, take a step back, reread the question, and write down what you know, um, and, um, and and work from there. Start with what you know. Okay. All right. Um, we are. Um, I'm going to post this uh, right below so you guys can start working on it. Good luck.